victims uh, of the Newtown Elementary School massacre was a six-year-old little girl named Emily Parker. Her father gave a heart-wrenching news conference just a little while ago. Listen to this. My daughter Emily would be one of the first ones to be standing and giving her love and support to all those victims because that's the type of person that she is. Not because of any parenting that my wife and I could have done, but because those are the gifts that were given to her by her Heavenly Father. As the deep pain begins to settle into our hearts, we find comfort reflecting on the incredible person that Emily was and how many lives that she was able to touch in her short time here on earth. Emily was bright, creative, and very loving. Emily was always willing to try new things, other than food. She loved to use her talents to touch the lives of everyone that she came into contact with. She was an exceptional artist, and she always carried around her markers and pencils so that she never missed an opportunity to draw a picture or make a card for those around her. I can't count the number of times Emily noticed someone feeling sad or frustrated and would rush to find a piece of paper to draw them a picture or to write them an encouraging note. Emily's card making was expressed beautifully this last October when she placed a very special card that she had made into the casket with her grandpa who also just recently died of a tragic accident. Emily was a mentor to her two little sisters and delighting in teaching them how to read, dance, and find the simple joys in life. Emily's laughter was infectious, and all those who had the pleasure to meet her would agree that this world is a better place because she has been in it. I was leaving to work, and um, she woke up before I left, and um, I've actually been teaching her Portuguese, and so our last um, conversation was in Portuguese. And um, she's told, she's, she told me good morning, and um, asked how I was doing, and I said that I was doing well. She said that she loved me, and I gave her a kiss and I was out the door. They were all born within three years of each other, so by law they're very close. Um, she was teaching my middle daughter to read. She would help my youngest daughter learn how to make things, uh, show her how to do crafts. They looked up to her, and they looked to her when, when they needed comfort. Usually that's that saved for a mom and a dad, but it was really sweet to see the times when one of them would fall or one of them would get their feelings hurt, how they would run to Emily to get support and hugs and kisses. She was the type of person that could just light up a room. She, uh, she always had something kind to say about anybody. And her, her, her love and the strength that she gave us and the example that she showed to us is remarkable. She is an incredible person. And I'm so blessed to be her dad. Robbie Parker, the 30-year-old father of little Emily Parker, uh who was murdered yesterday here at this elementary school in Newtown.